Hello everyone, welcome to What's In Your Bag. I am Melissa New and my co-host for the day. Hello. Mr. Chase Reynolds with LensRentals.com. How's it going? Doing good. Good Hello. to see you again. Good to see you too. And to my stage left is Brian Smith. How's it going? Are we doing the British accents the I, whole time, or are we going to move you right on? I mean, like just, oh. just Yours is way better than mine. Right but it's the soccer ride, so... <laughs> 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 You've got the good London, you know, uh, uh, gibberish. I've actually never picked up a Sony A7, and it feels very similar to Fuji. Mm -hmm. I mean, it feels, it's smaller, but I didn't expect it to feel this solid. Well, it, surprisingly, it's actually almost exactly the same size as the... Olympus bodies that have a micro four third sensors, yes. yet they put the full frame chip in it. Yeah. So it's like, it's kind of if you like that form factor, yeah. but want the detail and also um, the, the low noise that you can get from a full frame chip, it kind of gives you everything that I was seeking for a long time. Right. Um, and a lot of people who came into business with me, it's like comments that they say, it's like, if I ever have to spend another day with two. 2.8 zooms around my shoulders, yeah. meaning like a 24 to 70 and 70 to mm -hmm. 200. It's like, kind of feel like you've been beat up at the end of the day. And, you know, somebody who's at a, at a wedding or a portrait shoot, you don't want to spend the end of the day, feel at the end of the day like you, you know, need to crawl into bed for a week. It's right. like you it want to be fun. fresh yeah. and have fun. So. Yeah. Well, I'm impressed. I'm actually very impressed. So there's there's this body versus you know the Fuji or or the Micro Four, four Thirds, yeah. the Olympus. So why would you choose this over the others? Well, I mean, to me, full frames makes makes a really big difference. Sure. And one of the cool things about it is you can get tons of different adapters that let you use all of the legacy lenses that you may have had mm -hmm. sitting around for a while. This is a, a Leica 75 1.4 mm -hmm. that you know. For the price of anything from um, you know twenty four to maybe a hundred bucks, you get an adapter and you can shoot with it. Cool. I've even I've even talked to people lately who's like, you mean I can really like shoot with my dad's Kodak Retina camera mm -hmm. with this thing? And it's like, yeah, you can. Here's yeah. the adapter. So, so cool. um, it, it's to me being able to shoot with the lenses the way they were designed. Mm -hmm. Like if if a fifty millimeter was designed as a fifty, it's like. Why not shoot with it that sure. way and not have the crop factor? So yeah. you need that full frame to get yeah. that full 50 mm Yeah, and also it's like for this year at Photo Plus Expo, we had a show at um, the American Museum Night of uh, Natural History, and we made four by six foot prints from this. So it's like small camera, but the ability with the resolution to be able to make a gigantic print mm -hmm. is really, really cool. Wow, cool. Well, I'm impressed. And you've got yeah. your L bracket on here. Yeah, um, so this is a L bracket. This is I've actually got a couple different ones. This is um, this is the really right stuff. This is just their base plate. Yep. Um, oh, okay. But I'll leave these things on all the time, and it's actually for me, it's just a little bit extra heft yeah. on the camera. But also, if you're going into a tripod, you don't sit there trying to screw it in. You just lock it down. Um, the camera you've got's got a, a newer. Um, L bracket. So this thing actually, you can mount it either horizontally or vertically. And again, cool. I'll just leave those. I'll leave those things on whenever I need. Yeah, awesome. To shoot with them. Don't give so. me that. I'll break it. Well, Brian, where can where can we see your work? Um, I'm on BrianSmith.com is the website. You can dig around there. There's sections for books, gear. Um, there's a blog. Every hopefully everything people are looking for, we've got some of that on there. Awesome. And on t Twitter at BrianSmithPhoto. Awesome.